Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to a midweek edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thanks for joining me. Hey, by the way, maybe you do or don't know this, but you can always be reminded of whenever we post something new to our YouTube page, our church YouTube page. You can like, you can subscribe, you can ring the little bell. And ringing that little bell will give you an alert or a notification whenever our church decides to post something brand new on our page. And and we are updating that multiple times a week, all the time. You can find our live streams there. You can find all of our services. You can find clips to our services. You can find all the sermons that I preach, every edition of 5 Minutes with Phil, all of our music, some special numbers. I mean, it's, it's a really, really great page. And uh, I think it would bless you. And so if you want to take advantage of that and share it maybe with somebody that you love, that would be a win for us. We think that would be great. Now, let's uh, let's go forward now with today's scripture now that the commercials are over. I've chosen the scripture from Isaiah chapter 50. Isaiah 50 verse 10. And there is a, um, there's a, a question that is asked in this verse that uh, I think we can actually, a lot of us, relate to at some time in our lives, and maybe you're there right now. And I'd like to share that with you. Take a look at this. Here's what it says. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys his servant? If you are walking in darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. I had a uh, tough experience last year here at the church. Uh, if you've never been in our sanctuary, we have no windows in the sanctuary. And so when the lights are off, it's really dark. And um, I thought, hey, I think I'll take a shortcut through the side door and go through the back and go out the main doors of the sanctuary and uh, just, to, I don't know, save time, whatever. So I open the door. It is pitch black in there and I'm just hustling. And all of a sudden, Boom! I <laughs> I ran into a chair. Now we've got these metal frame chairs. Oh, and I ran into it chin first. Okay, not chin, but shin, the bottom part of my leg, and I just collapsed on the ground, and it hurt. And I'm telling you, that thing was bruised for weeks because I hit that thing so hard. And the problem was, I was trying to walk in complete darkness without any light at all, thinking that I could navigate uh, the rows of chairs that were obviously on the other side of the door. Boy, did I learn the hard way that that wasn't the case. Well, I I, want to refer back to this scripture that says, uh, the second half of it said, if you're walking in the darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. Now, in my experience, I could have used a flashlight. Maybe it would have been good if I would have just turned on the lights before I went in there. But for some of us, when we're walking through life, it could seem a little dark. It could seem a little confusing. It could be hard to know which way we're navigating. It could be hard to know which way we're going. And sometimes amidst all of that confusion, we can actually get hurt because we're not really trusting God, our light, to guide us and his voice to tell us what to do. We're kind of just feeling around or maybe we're just going full barrel in the darkness. We're not even aware of some of the obstacles that might be standing in our way. And you know what? If you're in a place of uh, uh, of darkness, and what I mean by that, if you're, if you're going through life and you're not sure how to navigate the life in the world that you're living in right now, uh, this would be a good time to remind yourself that, you know, I got to rely on God here. I need his word to speak to me. I need to pray to him and allow him to show me which way to go. Maybe God might put a godly person in your path to help you understand what is the right way to go and what is the right direction to take. But I would encourage you, don't try to Go through your spiritual life and your spiritual journey without the light of Jesus Christ. 
trust him, as the scripture said. Rely on your God. And I believe that he'll direct you exactly where you need to go. <laughs> and you won't get hurt. All right. Thanks for joining me. My time's up. I appreciate you. Love you. Thanks for being with us. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you again next time. Okay. You take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>